Kilmarnock eventually lost to Everton, but the magic dust was still being sprinkled throughout the league campaign. Bertie Black's goal set up a last day championship showdown against Hearts at Tynecastle. In these days, teams finishing level and points were separated by goal average, the goals scored being divided by the goals against. In short, a 2-0 victory would give Kilmarnock the title by 0 0.042 of a goal. Much better Kilmarnock play. Still McAnally, McLean. It's a beautiful one, Schmidt is a goal! What a goal by Schmidt and engineered by young McLean on the right wing. And so with 17 minutes still to play in this first half, Kilmarnock have got one of these very precious two goals that they're after. Well, if you'll pardon the cliché, the fat is certainly in the fire. With almost 60 minutes of playing time to go and anything can happen. A beautifully engineered goal. Worthy of a great game. Sneddon again for Kilmarnock. Benny. Sneddon. Bertie Black. Still Black. It's pretty good for to McElroy. And it's a goal! It's a goal by McElroy. Hamilton again. Gordon's in there. Watson clearing. McAnally. Well, I don't know how long this game's going to go on. It's played well overdue by me. A great save! Magnificent save by Ferguson. That is Willie Waddle. Right on he goes. That is Willie Waddle, and what a joyful man he must be. Fantastic scenes. Waddle's been hugged by supporters, by players, and if ever a man has gone out of Scottish football with a blaze of glory, it's Willie Waddle. Fantastic scenes at Tyne Castle. One of the most magnificent fights by a team I've ever seen. The only time I've seen him excited at the deal was when uh, the final whistle went, uh, two and a half minutes after the, after time. <laughs> um, the wee story about that was uh, Noddy McNeil was uh, the assistant and he was saying, uh, I'm going to be like, what time is it? He says, oh, it's five minutes ago. Shut up, shut up. I don't want any other time. But once the time final whistle was supposed to go, is he not going to blow the whistle? Not going to blow the whistle. These are that famous pictures of Willie coming onto the park. Yeah, that's, 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 the, that's the most uh, excited I've ever seen the man uh, at any time. He was excited at the Eintracht match, but the only thing he did that night was come in and shook all our hands and that was it. He could motivate players, Waddle, you know, and he knew how to get the best out of players, and he got the best out of command up players. We came back and we came through the town and there was thousands and thousands of people we started at the top um, and came right down to the Grand Cairn Square. And in fact, I saw my mum and dad. I couldn't speak to them because we were on the bus. And we lived in Barbados Road, which is just from between the square and here. So my wife was expecting Carter and Ann uh, then. And uh, I said to the, the boss, I said, let me off at Barbados Road. I'll get Rena and I'll come over. Right? So I gets off at Barbados Road, runs up the stair. I says, where's Rena? She's over at the park. So David did a run for Barbados Road, which is about half a mile from here. And I gets to the front gates, and they're shut. So I said, oh, what did I do? So there's a big crowd wanting to get in. So I'm pushing my way forward. And I says, yeah, you've got to let me in. It's a sergeant at, at, at the gate. He says, nobody getting in, son. I says, you know, kidding me? <laughs> and he looks down, and he says, Oh, it's you, David. I owe you go. 